My Big Brute is the Wolf Eyes Shark, made of aircraft-grade aluminium. It packs a bright 24-watt beam. My Nightcore R2 Extreme may be small, but it's the most powerful compact LED torch around. Designed for special forces, it's tiny, but it's certainly no lightweight. Now, in order to test your torches, I've prepared some night ops, gentlemen. And the first test will be a test of distance, how far the beam of your torch will travel. Out there are two sets of three numbers. You've got to read those numbers using your torchlight, because those numbers apply uh -huh. to the combination of a lock on top of a bin here. You've each got your own bin. If you get the numbers wrong, you'll be fired at by a load of angry paintballers. If you get them right, you'll be able to open the lock, open your bin, and get your toolbox. Why do you need a toolbox? Well, that's for the next task, which is to assemble that bar stool there by the light of your torch. Once you've assembled your bar stool, it's then a race to the finish. Ah! The first person to reach the finish line is the winner, and also, therefore, the person who has the best torch. We dropped into night vision mode to film them, but the only light Jason and Otis could see was coming from their torches. With everything in place, it was time to get going with the first test, the range of the torches. Three, two, one, go! Leaping into action, we both headed for our start positions, after taking a moment to find the numbers. It soon became apparent that Jason had the superior range. What I have got on this brilliant torch is the ability to focus the lion. I saw the 358 combination no problem, even though it took about 30 seconds for my shark to warm up as it uses an HID bulb, a new type of bulb that heats up gases and salts to create a super bright plasma. I put in the combination in. and I was on to test two. How easy the torches are to handle. I was struggling with my night core. It uses a brand new high powered LED to create a really focused beam, but it's nine times less powerful than Jason's. I can't see the numbers. And I couldn't make my mind up what I was seeing. I thought it was 357. But it wasn't. It was 358, and I got shot in the backside as a result. Fire! Oh, Call me right on my teeth, that did! I couldn't afford to waste any more time, so I had to get closer to the numbers to see them. 358 was one digit out. Otis's troubles had given me a decent head start on this test, but if you need to fix something in the dark with only a torch for light, chances are you're going to need as much freedom of movement as possible, which was a distinct advantage for Otis. This is great. I can actually keep... This is great. I can actually keep working with the torch in my mouth, so I don't have to keep moving it with my hand. While I struggled on with my bulky shark, despite being one of the most compact HID torches around, it's still 25 centimetres long and weighs a whopping 760 grams, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. See, my torch may be less easy to use than Otis's. It's so powerful that I can flood the entire area with light. With my night course handleability, I was gaining on him. It's less than 10 centimetres long and it only weighs 62 grams, and I was ploughing through the flat pack. After about 20 minutes, Jason finished the bar stool. Yeah. But with my night course tiny size enabling me to work hands-free, I caught up, finishing just a few seconds later. Ah! Me too! There was no time to waste as we headed on to the final section. But John had arranged one final trial for us. In order to test the spread of our torches' beams, we each had to strap them to a paint gun. We had to use the paint guns to knock out a team of angry paintballers hidden along our route. If our torches weren't good enough, it would mean a long and painful journey to the finish line. I was wearing the black hat. Otis was in the white. With our torches strapped to our guns, we prepared for battle. As I finished the stool build first, I headed onto the battlefield with a five second head start, but I was immediately pinned down. Otis arrived on site not long after. Ow! And although this was supposed to be a race to the finish, we decided to work together in a bid to just survive the onslaught of paint. Ow! And working together really helped. My shark had an adjustable beam from 4 to 16 degrees, changing it from a spotlight to more of a floodlight. We need a greater arc. If you can give me an area where they are, then hopefully I can jump up and get it. By spreading the beam, I dissipated some of the shark's light, but it was still plenty bright enough for this close quarters battle. The shark's wider beam helped us pick off a few more ballers. You are a goner, my son! Pick down the beam of my torch! Then we got pinned down in cover. We were all taking a pounding, torches included, but they are designed to be tough. My shark is made from aircraft aluminium and is splash-proof. 
But my night call is the tough guy here. Made from a military grade alloy, it's waterproof and drop proof. It's also got a self defense strobe feature that I used to distract the ballers just long enough for us to take out another one. There was one baller left, and the end was in sight. Jason, look, there's the button, just there. We spotted him in the torchlight, and with the adrenaline flowing, we went for glory. <laughs> We burst forward. Jason picked out the paintball with his wide beam while I went for the button. It was over! <laughs> we done it! It's <laughs> so painful. I've never ever done paintballing and that looks sore. Do you get bruises? No, absolutely. You get welts. No. Yeah, it stings big time. However, we didn't experience as much pain as we dished out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it was all about the torches. Yeah. Um, and Ooh. it always, it was, it was kind of neck and neck, but we decided to check your battery power. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, full power. Yours lasted 55 minutes. Oh. Small, two hours, ten. Small but mighty. Exact oh. window, my friend. <laughs> you know what? That's a very good point. I mean, this is an amazing torch. You can light up a football field with this thing. Yeah. But it has a payoff in battery power, doesn't it? Yeah, and trying to look at things at a distance was like trying to read Morse code. Yeah, yeah, but that's a really practical torch.